Hello friends, you are welcome to this presentation as we shall be discussing about floating columns and how it's being applied in the modeling of building or structures using protest structure. Floating columns are also called hanging columns or stop columns which on like regular columns rest upon beams element of the structure all right a floating column normally rests on the beam directly just the way we have this this one resting on this beam if i should rotate it or beat it this way you can see a beam there carrying this column so this is a typical example of a floating column a floating column also transfer the load to the beam and through the beam to the base column and directly to the foundation. It does not transfer the load direct to the foundation. A floating column can also be placed on a slab depending on the design. And so in this design, the floating column is placed on the beam and you must ensure that during your modeling in proto structure that you ensure that proto structure understand this beam as a cantilever beam because a floating column normally rests on a cantilever beam just like this without any rigid support beneath it or you can rest it in between a beam that is spanning in two directions or anchoring at two points like this one like this one you can also place a column right away at the mid pans of this beam okay and so i want to be navigating to the plan view so if i navigate to the plan view right away you will notice that you're having a triangular symbols a red triangular symbols here this symbols shows that this beam is a cantilever beam it's a cantilever symbol so once you are having a beam like this that is carrying a floating columns and you are not having this sign you have to activate the sign so that the program this program will be notified and understand that the beam is a cantilever beam all right so that anything that comes on it a load will be transferred you can see the direction of the load that the load goes to this column and from the column to the foundation and so if in case you are modeling a cantilever beam of this kind and you did not see this sign what you just need to do to activate the sign is to select the beam right click and in this provision the drop down menu you can see mark free end of cantilever beam so you can use this to place the cantilever in whichever ways that you wish this is how you can activate your cantilever before you now start to place your floating column so that there will be proper transfers of loads from the column to the cantilever beam and onto the column onto the base column that will now transfer the load to the foundations so this is how floating columns is being designed in a proto structure. If you have any questions, you can drop it at the comment sections concerning floating column. All right. And so this will bring the lesson to a stop as we shall proceed for an advanced lesson subsequently. Stay tuned, like the lesson and subscribe if you are yet to subscribe. Bye for now.